You could only machine a part like this with splines on it, loads of different complex forms, and machine the back end without any extra equipment on a Willamette Macadel. Keep watching to find out more. We're here in the Willem and Macadel factory in Delamont in Switzerland. Now, David, these are, are they're fascinating looking machines. Well, mm. Can you just explain the configuration uh, and the kind of axes these machines have and why they're so specialist? Yeah, sure. So with the 508 that we're looking at here, the 508 MT2, um, it's a, a seven to nine axis machine. So we have a, a main spindle, which is capable of taking bar capacity up to 65 millimeters, um, RPM up to 6,000, but obviously slightly slower on the bigger capacities. We have a head with three axis on it and a B-axis motion as well. Uh, rotational speeds are up to 40,000 RPM. And then on this machine, we have a, a, a turret arrangement that we can have a pickup spindle, we can have a vise, we can have tail socks, various different applications or adaptations on that, that area of the machine as well. So it's a really complex five axis parts that I guess you need a lot of milling capability and that turning capability as well. So this this machine this mt2 has a bar feeder on this side which yep. i guess it's, it's an option yep. so with this IM bar feeder you're going to be running for a long time how many tools can you fit in this on this machine we have a tool carousel over three levels taking 72 tools we can go up to an optional 200 if you need them so so you need so if you need some tool you can fit that one in yeah what about the spindle and the tool change time okay so the spindle takes a hsk e40 as, as a standard we have other options if you want it Tool to tool time is around 0.8 of a second. So point eight of a second. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's a quick tool change time to shave off a few side, few seconds of the cycle. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to be machining like micro machining little parts like this, I assume Swiss. I always think watchmaking, but dental as well. You need those RPMs. Yeah. What kind of RPM can the spindle reach? So with 30,000 as standard, optional 42,000 on the main. But you're going to be feeding in parts. Um, but can you explain? Is it high volume? Is it low volume? What kind of parts would you put on it? I mean, the the Willemann machines per se are, are lower volume type products, but equally you can, you can mass produce on them if you're making a, um, a repeat part, if you like, as an example. So on here, we've got a bar feed capacity, so you could um, set the machine up on a, in this instance, 65 millimeters, and you could run a, a, a range of parts from that bar stock diameter. And it's really, if you're manufacturing parts in, you know, if it's 10 offs, 50s off, that kind of thing, then you'd be looking more to go towards the bar fed um, setup. And I guess the parts you'd be, you'd be wanting to put on this, because they're so complex, you want to make sure that you're making good parts and it's all about the part quality and getting the dimensional tolerances right. Yep. And it's obvious um, that the, the Swiss heritage is obvious from the watchmaking um, heritage because he was talking about the precision of these parts, meaning that, that first part you run off that is going to be right. You don't have to make two, three, four change offsets, keep messing around with things. Yep. Why is that important to try and make sure the first part is right, not just the fifth part, the sixth part? If you're only making one part, you want it right. So you don't want to waste expensive material, time, etc. So these machines are, are, are very accurate, very thermically stable um, to, to enable, enable you to do that. Yeah. And also, could you just explain what, what's the, uh, the axis driving system? So on, on this machine, they're linear motors. So we have linear motors on the X, Y, and Z. So the, the horizontal axis as well as the vertical. Oh, OK. And that helps you achieve speed and accuracy at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I okay. mean, so rapid traverse is up to 60 meters a minute, so pretty fast. Brilliant. So what, what, what would be the application for someone who needs to do those one-offs? What kind of part would a one-off be? It could be medical, it could be jewelry that kind of um, application really. Which are always going to be fairly high value materials as well, so you don't want to be wasting yep. any of that bar. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. Okay, brilliant. So in a day, would someone have made, in a three meter bar, they might have a hundred different families of parts they're going to be making off that single bar. Yeah, and you can imagine that if you, with the, with the automation aspect that, that goes alongside these machines, you could have um, various different um, applications where you're making similar parts, but not the same parts. 
and do that on a on a piece by piece basis. And what I find amazing about this machine is it's almost like a lathe, and you've got your standard spindle here with, the, in this case, a Heimbuck collet, quick collet changing system, yep. which is obviously really easy to change your bar um, your bar diameter. But you've also got um, this kind of back working axis here. Now, what yep. is this for? So this is really for um, for picking up the part for back working. So as you mentioned earlier, we can have a sub spindle on there, so we can turn in counter operations as well as mill. Um, we've got vice arrangement on this machine, so we can have a, a vice that will clamp the part and then enable us to do milling in the back side of the component. So it's quite flexible. We can have um, a bar puller, we can have a tail stock, various different um, adaptations. And it's amazing that, I, that this is a milling machine, and yet you can get one part off in a cycle without any extra any extra equipment. Correct. Yeah, with the with the turret arrangement here, with the pickup spindle, the vice, and so on, that enables you to get one-hit machining, so you've got a complete part finished off of the machine without any additional uh, adaptation or equipment. And when I imagine Swiss machines, I think micro-machining, I think tiny parts, but you've got actually quite a big part here. Yeah, I mean, this part is probably getting towards the bigger size that, that we would be looking at for a Willemann machine. We have turning capability, we have milling capability, uh, we have internal work, so we have uh, drilling, spline uh, milling here. Um, and we will, with this part, you'll be making this from the bar and then we'll be picking up internally to uh, re reverse the part and, and work on the back end. So it's not just parting off that little bit of slog and have to put it in another machine, you can just come in and grab it and do some back working as well? Yeah, you get it off complete. 65 mil bar diameter up to around 200 millimetres in length. So. so if someone's seen one of these parts and thought, I could have a look at one of those machines, who do they get in touch with to find out more? So contact us, Premier Machine Tools for the UK and Ireland.